Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got a comment um, on one of my um, videos, and I thought this comment was interesting, so I wanted to do a video about it. So this comment says, um, I noticed you talked about being comfortable when approaching women. Can you make a video about talking to women that we like versus women that we don't really care that much about? I noticed when I'm talking to women that are my type, I do worse. When I approach women that I'm not interested in, my game is smoother because I don't care. How can we get to the point of not caring? All right. So basically you're saying when you talk into a chick who you think is hot, the one that you really want, you, it doesn't go so smooth. You're probably a little nervous, whatever it is. But then when you're talking to chicks, you don't really care too much if shit's going to go down. It's it's easier for you, right? Basically, and, and it's really simple. It's A lot of this is you and how you're looking at the situation. And basically, you're making the women that you think are hotter better in your eyes than the ones who are not so hot or the ones that you're not really interested in. So since you're making those chicks better and they're making these other chicks not so good, right? You've put you put these girls on a pedestal and now what you've done is that you've attached your ego and your sense of well-being to the outcome of what happens with you and the girls you really want to get with. So this is why you 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 care so much when when it comes to a chick you really want. And you don't care so much when it comes to a chick you're not really into because if you talking to the chick that you're not really into and, you know, she doesn't go uh, well or she doesn't give you the number or nothing really happens, you don't really care because it's not a blow to your ego. It's not a blow to your, um, you know, your identity, how you view yourself. You understand? Because to you, that chick doesn't count. It doesn't matter. Right? Now, when it comes to a woman that you really want... And that that you really, uh, you know, think is hot when you start talking to her, when you're trying to make something happen, you want the interaction to go well because the interaction going well is a reflection of how you see yourself, a reflection of how you view yourself as a guy who can attract women. So, you know, it's not even about the chick, really. It's not even about the women. It's about you. It's about you attaching your ego and your happiness and your senses of sense of well-being to how you interact with women. That's really all it is. See, so the way that you can go about, you know, making your interaction successful with women is not necessarily where you just don't have to, you know, care. But what you shouldn't care about is the outcome and what you when also you shouldn't attach your ego or your sense of well-being to the interactions you have with women. Because that's what it really is, you know, when we get deep into it. Because you want it to go well with the girl who you think is hot. So you get really nervous because you're like, damn, I need this to actually work so that I can feel good about myself. Which is why it doesn't go as smooth. Because you need it to work. Because having it work is basically saying to yourself that I'm cool, I'm awesome. I need this to go well so that I can be awesome. I need this to, to I need this girl to, uh, you know, like me so that I can be awesome. And by having that pressure on yourself, the situation is not going to go smooth because you feel you need that to happen that way. Now, with the other girl, it's like, well, she's, eh, you know, I'm not really feeling her. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what happens with this because I wasn't feeling her anyway. So you're a little bit more relaxed with this chick. Because, you know, you, you're not attaching your ego and your sense of well-being to to what goes on. You're you're very, um, you know, you're not dependent on the outcome with that girl. Right. So what you need to do is when you're approaching the hot ones and the ones that you really want, you have to have that same energy that you do when you're approaching the chicks you're not really feeling. You understand? Or I, or I usually just say, you know, you got to treat all the chicks the same, no matter if they're hot or not. You feel what I'm saying? Because. You know, you basically um, making it a, a big deal or making it a thing that needs to happen is the thing that's tripping you up. You feel what I'm saying? That's the thing that makes it uh, the interactions don't go well. And this goes for a lot of guys. I know a lot of guys out there that do this where they as soon as they, they, they see a chick that they really want to get with, you know, they start, uh, you know, fumbling their words and they don't know what to say and they get nervous. 
And this, this is all coming from you. It's all coming from your own head and your own mind. Because the funny part is, is that the girl that you think is hot might be average to the next man. So imagine if that next man has the same mentality as you, that average girl, that hot girl you think is hot is average to the next man. And the next man might, you know, treat her like whatever. And he'll be all smooth because she's like, whatever, she ain't all that. And then he end, he ends up getting her and he's like, damn, how did he get that hot chick? And he's just thinking she's average. And then when he's going about his business, he sees another girl that, you know, he thinks is hot. And then he doesn't know how to talk to her. And then some other guy thinks that girl is average. You see what I mean? It just, it's just like a, a cycle. So it's really dependent on your view of how you're viewing these women and how you are um, reacting to, you know, the positions that you put these women in. So the thing is, if you just, you know, look at women all the same and that it's a, not a big deal at all, you understand? Then you will have better interactions. Like if you are you know, treating the, the, you know, the women that you're dealing with sort of in that same way that you are going about the chick that you're not really into, you understand? You'll probably have more success because you'll be more smoother with it because you're not looking for um, an outcome to define you. You're not looking for that to make you feel a certain way because that's really all it's about because, again, it's coming from you. It's it's your own perception. It's how you uh, you know, want to view yourself through these interactions. And the thing is, you don't even need to do that. You understand? If you want to approach women and talk to women and get with girls and all that other stuff, you know, it's something that, you know, you do, but not anything that you're doing to uh, reinforce your identity or reinforce who you are. And this is why a lot of guys mess up because they have this thing in their head where they want to be the cool pickup mac guy do you understand they want to be the fucking awesome uh you know the the ladies man and all that other shit so the thing is is that since you you know view yourself that way or want to view yourself that way you have to sort of um keep your interactions in, in in alignment with that identity so you know you approaching that girl that you really want and you not getting her is a threat to your identity. So this which is why you're nervous. Because you have to make this interaction go right to reinforce who you think you are. You feel what I'm saying? So guys, you know, you, you got to understand that you got to be, you know, um you can't be dependent on the outcome. You got to just relax. You got to just, you know, flow with it and things will, you know, go smoothly. All right. So, guys, listen, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below and also make sure you go to Bad Boy Membership where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video tutorials every month. I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below so you can send me a question and I'll do a video on it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which gives you seven tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.